Hey, welcome back students. In this lesson, I want to go ahead and show you how to convert uh, temperatures from Celsius over to Kelvin. And what I've got here is just a very generic question uh, format here. I'm going to put in a number in the blank line there, and I'm going to convert it to Kelvin. I'll go through some examples, but at the end, though, you should be able to do this conversion quite easily. Please take a lot of good notes while you're doing this, and so let's go ahead and begin. And so let's say that we want to go ahead and convert, say, 20 degrees Celsius, and we want to convert that over to Kelvin. Well, the thing that we need to do here is remember that in order for us to find Kelvin, we have to use one very general equation. Kelvin is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273. So if we know this, then all we really need to do is take this number of 20, which is represents the 20 degrees Celsius, and all we're going to do is plug it in right there. And when we do that, we wind up getting the following that the Kelvin is going to be equal to 20 plus 273. If we go ahead and add those two together here, our Kelvin uh, temperature is going to be equal to 293. Now, typically you'll report it like this, but make sure that when you're ever reporting this and you're just making a conversion, you always ended up with the unit of Kelvin. And so that would be the answer there. All right, so let's look at another problem here. What if I wanted to change Say I wanted to get a, another number, let's go with a random number here of 4.2 degrees Celsius and we want to convert that to Kelvin. Again, if we use that general formula, the Kelvin degrees is going to be equal to your Celsius temperature plus 273. So we'll take that 4.2 degrees and we're going to add 273 to that. Go ahead and add that up and that winds up being 277.2. And this is equal to your Kelvin. Now, remember, when you're reporting this, you always have to use the, the proper number of significant figures. So just to be true to that, we want to look at our original problem. Notice I wrote 4.20. For simplicity's sake here, let me put rewrite this as 4.20. So I'll add a zero at the very end. So now we have three significant figures instead of two. And so what we'll do is we'll look at the numbers that we've got. The first significant figure is the two here followed by the 7 and the 7. Those are the first three. So these are the ones that I really want to look at. But before I make this my final answer, I do have to look at the 2. Since the 2 is lower than 5 and it is not equal to 5, I'm not going to be rounding up this first 7. So I'll go ahead and drop that. So my final answer here is going to be 277 Kelvin. So in summary, in order to find the Kelvin, all you really need to do is take the degree Celsius and add 273 in order to get that final temperature in the units that you want.